We have already shown girls will not burden or hinder a person's pro pro progress in any way, shape, or form. They might actually assist people in moving through the ranks at an increased speed. Now, statistics show that average girls are better multitaskers than average boys. In addition, they have stronger hand-eye coordination, tell the truth more, have better personal hygiene, follow the rules and the law more, have better memories, and think more clearly. All of these skills will be passed on to the boys in scouting, in scouting therefore benefiting both genders. We have also shown that people who join scouts will learn essential physical, wilderness, survival, and life skills that are unable to be learned in Girl Scouts. All of the skills learned in Girl Scouts have a counterpart in Boy Scouts, except for the dancing badge, which I find to be absolutely useless in life. In addition to these skills, Boy Scouts teaches merit badges such as emergency preparedness, personal fitness, life-saving plant studies, reptile studies, mammal studies, wilderness survival, citizenship in the community, nation, and world, family life, personal management, communications, and many, many more useful things. Once again, these skills are non-existent in Girl Scouts, making Boy Scouts possibly your only shot at being successful in the outdoors and in everyday life. Finally, we showed you that single-sex activities have no additional benefit over co-ed activities. In reality, being separated from the opposite sex has many negative effects. Children have less experience being around the opposite gender, have less understanding of the opposite gender, won't mature as quickly, and have less experience in the real co-ed world. People, especially kids, have to spend time around the opposite sex. They want any chance of a thriving social, work, or family life in the future. We would also like to mention that if girls continue to be allowed in Boy Scouts, they are being given the opportunity to spend quality time with their male family members. This can and will contribute to a more positive home environment. Now I can speak from personal experience that family relationships are essential to a good family life. Now my father travels nearly every week for his job and he is always missed dearly while he's gone. Now my brother is an Eagle Scout, but me and him are apart more often than we are together due to his job and several after school activities. But every Monday night, I know that I can climb into that silver Chevy Traverse and go to that scout meeting as a family. Now without our Monday night extravaganzas, I don't know what I would do, but I still have the warm nightly phone conversations with my father that I've come to know and love. Would I even talk to Jacob without a fight ensuing? I don't know, but I never want to find out. Now I would never in my wildest dreams want a girl's relationship with her male family members to suffer simply because some people are unable to accept change. Countless families could suffer because two people sitting right over there don't want them in our club. Is this what you want? Do you want your future kids to be pushed away from one of the greatest organizations in America? Could be because they are women? Adam Baskin, Life Scout, Troop 208, with liberty and justice for all.